will color me all kinds of pleasantly surprised. Taiwanese dramas have a reputation for being hella not my thing. Often these puppies are so over the top they make my teeth cringe. But holy crap, on a cracker, this goofball heroine didn't make me gag and this OTP hard eyes made me swoon. Yep. I fell so damn hard for Down With Love, and yes, it was tropetastic as all hell. Yang Gao is a poor outcast heroine. She lands a babysitting gig with the hero by promising she won't try to do the hanky-panky with him. It's a very weird, weird, weird reality. <laughs> There's an emotionally unavailable hero, forced proximity, enemies to lovers, and oh yeah, the best trope of them all, hero dude falling for heroine chick while he thinks she's gay. And if that ain't a trope, somebody call the main office and make it one because oh my god crack. Like so much crack. The recipe that made this show hella fun had a lot of ingredients. The best being its likable OTP. You expect Yu Ping to be this big alpha a-hole when really he's a charming beta male in disguise. You expect Yang Gao to be this obnoxious twit when really she's just a confident goofball. And together, these two are an I want to make out with your face and fix you breakfast romance. Guys, I am so here for dramas where the hero falls first, and boy does this hero fall hard. I swear y'all, this script writer was feeding my fangirl heart with so many shiptastic OTP moments. When most dramas are winding down the adorbs and leveling up that angst, this drama is like, fudge that. Let's have the hero teach the heroine how to walk in heels. And oh yeah, let's make it cute and sexy. So much flirting, so much cute, because oh my god. That was well into episode nine, my friends. Both these actors deserve all the french fries. Our heroine was a dork, but she knew she was a dork, so she rocked it with confidence. Like, she totally laughs at and agrees with evil mom's put downs. Yeah, I'm uncouth. What of it? Take my heart, woman. Whoops. Too late. Yang Ping got that organ whenever he used his intimate sexy voice when talking to the heroine. So many damn ovary punches, y'all. Like, bam, right in the... Ah. I reiterate, I repeat, give them all the damn french fries. The plot goes places, the chemistry between the actors was amazing, the heroine was charming, just so much freaking good. And I really, 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 really loved how the drama explores all facets of the forbidden love trope. First it manifests in the employer-employee dynamic, and then in the gay misunderstanding. Also thank Yoda that Down With Love made the smart decision to get the plot moments out of there. And no, that was not the end of the forbidden love trope. Damn it, she's dating my best friend now. Ugh, still no touchy. I love him. I reiterate, I repeat, give them all the damn french fries. I am a walking cliche because literally every time he looked at the heroine with those longing eyes, I swooned. But even more swoon worthy, this drama plays with your expectations about the second male lead in a big way. Uh, the beta male lead does some not beta stuff and the alpha hero is the one that's the supportive charming boy. Dramas don't often make me go shock and awe, but with this particular subplot I was freaking out. It was so unexpectedly intense. Emotional tension and juicy conflict was popping out the wazoo. Hero face stands by the heroine long after he's accepted that he's lost her forever to the second male lead. <laughs> So many emotions. Watching his heartbreak, even while he's supporting her, while he desperately wants to belong to her. It hurts so good, it hurt, 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 hurt so good. And we even smoothly transition from one conflict to the next, and they are never crazy. Well, almost never. Admittedly, we do get some sigh worthy daddy drama, and okay, if I'm being completely honest, the drama sags in the last three episodes. There's no shame in my game though, because let's be real, almost every drama ever has a whiptastic ending. We know that endings are not drama strong suit. But yeah, I was a bit frustrated, okay a lot frustrated, about how the OTP date briefly, whammo there's a marriage proposal, and roll credits. Ah, that was so frustrating. Slow down, drama. So big yeah, Down With Love has got flaws. I can't lie. But if you squint your eyes real tight and maybe tilt your head to the left, they almost disappear. Because really, this is just a silly fun romp of a drama, and I can't recommend it enough. So go watch it. You know you wanna.
I notice whenever it's freezing in here or sweltering, my delivery goes to crap. Today was a crap delivery. So just ignore the crappiness of this video and concentrate on how great the drama was. Cause it's really great. I think it's a 2016 drama or maybe a 2015, I can't remember. But either way, I was pretty darn impressed. Like I said, normally Taiwanese dramas make me just ugh. But not this one. So if you have seen it, let me know. Because I need to find out more. I really enjoyed it and I did not expect that. Which is really refreshing because I'm going through a bit of a drama slump right now. Like most everything I'm watching is either dropped or dropped. Even the big name dramas that everybody's loving, I'm just like five episodes, ten episodes in and I'm like, uh, I'm done. So the fact that this drama was a happy watch makes me feel good in my heart. Don't do me wrong, fandom, please. It's making me very nervous, like maybe I'm no longer an Asian drama fangirl. Don't tell me that. Speaking of, if you've guys been through a drama slump recently or ever, how long did it last? Because I'm getting worried, guys. I swear to God, 12 dramas in a row and it's been like, mm. But the sirens are going off, so that's my cue to shut my face. Thank you for watching and I will see you the next time I make a video. Alright, I'm shutting up!